Good afternoon, everyone. We are Team Honey Badgers, and we, we have developed a beta model that we believed is the best solution to the UAV stadium threat problem. Please listen closely to our presentation, especially the portion that my teammate Ben will be presenting. I'll start off by defining our problem, uh, which is to develop countermeasures to identify and neutralize an imminent bomb threat deployed by a UAV of a stadium full of people. This next slide gives us background about the UAV stadium problem. And there are, all right, the first one is feasibility, which gives a lower barrier to entry, which means drones are easy to build and there are tutorials available online. Next is the state of the art solution. Drone navigations operate with GPS and without radio transmission and rely heavily on IMU technology. Next is payload capacity. And this means there are there is more lethality per unit weight due to advancements in brushless motor design. Last is ease of availability. Drones are low cost and parts are very easy to find. Next, Hector will now talk about the biggest challenges to this problem. So based on the backgrounds we have presented, we have established these six pain points. So two of which we'd like to address it, to say that they're illegal, such as signal jamming and G GPS moving here in the United States. Also, another problem pain point we have to address is the internal measurement unit of the drone itself and the high mobility it moves that, as well as we like to take into consideration safe removal and the UAV detection of the drone. Now here, to help us in our problem statement, we have these listed assumptions. We would like to talk about the assumptions that better address a possible solution, such as we like to say that in, we're using a computer vision model that will work 24 seven with no losses or glitches, as well as if the UAV threat can be neutralized by our UAV counter system, and as well as the limited time for observation which the drone is in. Taking into account these assumptions, our recommended solution would be to utilize an array of security cameras using computer-aided vision to the UAV net with, to deploy a UAV net. All right, so we have th three main focuses we have to focus on. Identifying the target, monitoring the target and confirming it's a target and eliminating that target. And that's what we're gonna do in our model we developed over this weekend. We developed a CV2 model, we trained data, we actually implemented it and here it is. Basically it's actively tracking any drone that enters any frame of any camera. So think of any camera, so security cameras, CTC, T CCT cameras, web cameras, you can actively monitor for drones. And it, this outputs the actual confidence level of how confident it is a drone and its angular position based on the field of view of each camera. Think of this as a node, and we have a mesh of nodes, all sorts of cameras everywhere that need to be monitoring high value target items. So based on all these nodes, we can actually uh, triangulate the actual position of the drone in the sky. This is basically using epipolar geometry, and OpenCV actually has developed this technology to, uh, uh, to estimate the actual distance to that said target actively based on multiple camera angles. And it's in an open source method and it can be implemented tomorrow. And we've actually implemented the CV2 model based on our own trained data set. We went through, annotated all the images, built the data set, trained on that, and then we have an active model that we can use on a live demo. Based on this triangulation, we're, we're localizing it to an actual uh, problem. We're, we're dealing with the stadium. It's full of people. We want to actively negate any threat in the area. We want to track it. We want to make sure that we're actually monitoring it and we're confirming that it is a drone that we want to eliminate. And we have all of the drones prepared to eliminate said threat. So here in this, this footage we saw is three camera angles. As a drone passes through, you can see each individual camera angle based off of the field of view. And you can see how a drone is actually overlapping in multiple fields of view. When you, once you have overlap, you can actually calibrate or calculate for the actual drone position. And we can actually track and monitor any drone in multiple drones, actively, constantly, 24 seven. And we're focusing only on the pain points that right now in this statement for a stadium full of people. We, we're at red alert. We wanna watch out for any kind of issue. And we have a whole team dedicated to it. Madav will talk, talk about how we're doing that. Thank you, Ben, for your uh, presentation and about the working of the overall model. 
Uh, now I'll be introducing you to the crowdsourcing app and how this, the reason, the whole purpose of this application is so that it eliminates the drawback of CV2. So first it uses analyst input and uses analyst input as the final verdict to make sure that the CV model has not misclassified the drone. And now you'll wonder what, who exactly are these analysts or you know, who exactly is this analyst? So basically it's a group of pre-verified people who can be security guards or security officials who will have a final say in this. As you can see through the UI towards the right of this app that it's a very easy to use and has a fast response time because right now we are racing against the time and having a human in the loop would make sure that we do not neutralize any authorized flying object or even a board that's just flying, flying from one point to the other. Now, if the analyst chooses a yes on the crowdsourcing app, a warning message uh, that is already pre-approved by Department of Homeland Security is sent out. And since we have a CV2 model and um, the analyst team equipped for you know, verifying if it's a drone, a hazardous drone or not, we do not want people to be, you know, go looking out for drones or making sure that it is that drone. We want people to be in a safe spot. Thank you, Madhav, for the insight. We are so excited that we are able to implement an actual computer vision model in order to take courses of action to neutralize the threat. These are several of the courses of action that we were able to list that could be depend potentials in actually neutralizing the threat that is available. We compared these courses of action to screening criterion and we were able to select two that we felt best match the screening criterion that we gave. We really wanted to separate the threat from the intended target, and we really wanted to take into account a UAV only using MIU. Therefore, two surviving courses of action were the autonomous net gun and the deployable UAV with net. As we can see from this slide, our course of action two had several advantages over the autonomous net gun. A deployable UAV with a net can be upscaled in order to actually be in a high mobility situation to capture said threat. In our conclusion, we realized that there is a whole matrix where we would see that not only is this low probability, it's high probability now in this day and age, and it is high risk. The reason we would select the course of action too is to eliminate that threat that is present in um, the sky. Uh, we are so thankful that we are able to um, present today and we would like to know if there is any questions um, in regard to what we have presented. Please comment on this video, we'll respond. Um, this was based off of a, a hackathon supplied, supplied by ASU. It was started at a Friday night and ended in a uh, Sunday, Sunday morning basically is when we actually stopped working on the project. Um, this is a post documentary video of what we actually implemented and documentation. So it's just for anyone who wanted to see it. And thank you very much for your time.